During this month's Invasive Strike Force EcoQuest Challenge, we're going to learn to cut out kudzu. Kudzu is an herbaceous to semi-woody climbing or trailing deciduous perennial vine that climbs to the forest canopy in the pursuit of more light. Kudzu, also known as footinite vine, Japanese arrowroot, cohemp, and the vine that ate the south, is a legume and member of the bean family. From its first introduction to North America in 1876 in the Japanese pavilion at the Philadelphia Centennial Exposition, to its promotion in the early 1900s as a means for erosion control, more than a million acres are estimated to have been planted as a result. This footinite vine has a voracious appetite for light, so voracious it will cover entire areas with its tendrils choking out all other vegetation. When hunting for kudzu, be on the lookout for its dark green and lobed compound leaves of three, not to be mistaken with the more pointed leaves of three that is poison ivy, but more on that later. Along long, hairy vines, kudzu stems are also hairy. Vines can grow up to 30 to 100 feet per year, yikes, and can have clusters of purple flowers on vertical vines in full sunlight in late summer. Kudzu generally spreads by setting new roots in almost every node where horizontal trailing stems come into contact with bare soil. New vines will form at these nodes the following spring and will spread out in all available directions. Kudzu prefers warm, humid environments, thus its prevalence down south, in open, disturbed areas such as roadside ditches, rights of way, and abandoned fields. In such settings, kudzu can form large monocultures with thousands of plants per acre. Once established, kudzu vines compete with forest trees both for sunlight in the crown and for water and nutrients from the soil. The vines may directly damage colonized trees by strangulation. These physical traits of kudzu significantly impact the ability of native trees to grow and reproduce, increasing the early mortality of native trees and preventing the establishment of new trees or shrubs in the dim light below the colonized canopy. A look-alike you may encounter is poison ivy. To differentiate between kudzu and poison ivy, it might be easiest to think of kudzu as horizontal and poison ivy as vertical. Kudzu generally vines outwards in all directions while poison ivy shoots upward. Poison ivy has woodier stems and more glossy, waxy leaves that are also noticeably pointier. Kudzu is a more vegetative vine and tends to form thick mats on top of other vegetation in full sun situations with more rounded leaves. Identification is the first step toward plant control. Now that you can properly ID this species, get out there and start reporting them. With your help, we can take steps to manage and control this invasive species. Thanks for watching! If you have any questions or comments about this EcoQuest or about our work, email us at invasives at nynjtc.org or visit the Lower Hudson Partnership for Regional Invasive Species Management, or PRISM, website at lhprism.org.